Hello students, welcome to our today's e-learning program. I'm your teacher, Precious Sokbebo, reaching you from the Gold Stars International School. Today, we are going to look at the topic, computer storage devices from the third term scheme of work. And it's for the JS2 class. So, let's look at the definition of the computer devices. The computer storage system is the storage medium that is used in storing computer information. What that simply means is that the computer storage device or system is a medium, is a place where you save all your work being done on the computer. Now, computer storage device is classified into primary storage or memory and secondary storage or auxiliary memory. What this line means is that the computer storage device is divided into what? Two. Number one is the primary storage device, which is the main, the main memory, or the secondary storage device, which is the what? Auxiliary. Why the primary storage device is called the main is because it is inbuilt in the system units. As soon as you are done with your work on the computer, immediately you save it in the computer. And as you save it, it goes directly to the what? Computer the system units. Now, the secondary storage device is auxiliary because it has to do with the device you get outside to store your words, work on computer. Now, the primary storage device can also be called immediate access store. In brackets, I must. Why it is called immediate access store is because it is what you do as soon as you are done with your work. You save it inside the system unit. You save it immediately. So that is why it is called what? Immediate access store. You can also access it immediately. You are done saving your work. Now, it is also located on the motherboard. Now let's look at the word motherboard. Now, the motherboard is the main circuit board of a computer that contains the CPU. This motherboard contains the word CPU, and this CPU is, means central processing unit. This is where all the work carried out on the computer system is being what processed. That is why it is called the central processing what unit, and it is the motherboard that does what that contains it we also have the bios or the bios which is the what basic input output word system it is also found on the word motherboard now we have the process microprocessor this microprocessor is the brain of the word computer it is also a chip now the RAM is also on the motherboard and the RAM means random access memory. We also have some slots. We have cards and the, we also have the disk drive and the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM means compact disk read only what? Memory. Then we add X, it is what? Memories. And all these are found on the what? Motherboard, which is the what? The main circuit what? Board of a computer system, the brain of the world computer system. Now, the primary storage device consists of two types. It has two types. Now, they are the random access memory, which is RAM in abbreviation. Now, read-only memory, which is what ROM in the word abbreviation. I want us to go back the previous lesson there are some things i need to explain now i want us to look at the primary storage being the main memory it is called the main memory because 
it is what where the hard disk is located the hard disk hard disk and this hard disk happens to be the memory where all the work you do in the computer go to it is called the hard disk this is where you save all your work now the secondary storage system or the auxiliary are the devices that you get from outside the computer to save your work examples flash disk flash disk we all know the flash disk is in this form it's in this form it is hung around the neck it has a cover so what you do is when you put the cover you slot it on the system unit and transfer your information from the hard disk to the words flashes. We also have the diskettes. The diskettes. The diskette is what is squared in shape. It is also a storage device. You get it from outside to save your work. You transfer your work also from the hard disk to the diskettes. So we are not taking out the work completely from the hard disk. What you do is to copy. You copy from here and you do what? You put here. So we also have the compact disk. We all know the compact disk. So we use it to do what? To save our information also. We also have the DVD. The DVD. The DVD is a place where you can also save your information. DVD. DVD. And this DVD means digital versatile disc. It is also used to do what to save your information. So these are all important for you to save your information. They are important in the sense that you can carry them about even without going out with your system. You can make use of another system to view the information you have saved or transferred in this world storage devices so they are all what secondary storage devices because you get them from what outside but this is the main they have this is the main we are all the work as taught in the world computer system so when you now transfer from here to here it means that you are getting your information from the primary storage which is the memory to the word secondary storage which is also the word auxiliary word memory so to refresh your memory once more or to touch the lessons that we've done before i told you that the computer storage system or device we call it a system or a device or machine is what is the storage medium that is used in storing what computer information to store your computer information here and why is it necessary for you to store your information it is necessary so that you don't do what to lose your information so before you carry out your work or before you enter your debt or before you do whatsoever you want to do with your company, first of all do what? Save that environment. And as you do your work, you also do what? Save. So that in case there is power failure, you will not lose the information totally. And while you also save your information on this auxiliary memory or on this auxiliary storage devices, is that in case the computer crashes you'll be able to go back to your sorry devices the auxiliary storage devices to get the information which you have saved or in case you want to travel and you don't feel like going with your laptop or your computer you go with this and you'll be able to access the information here through another system so that is on that so now i also say something about the storage devices being the the primary storage device is being the what immediate access store because you store your information immediately and you also access it what immediately you don't need to pause go get your secondary outside your secondary storage device outside to access your information you just access it with the particular computer you are working with and this hard disk is located on the what motherboard now i also told you that the motherboard is the main circuit board of a computer that contains the cbu central processing unit 
BIOS, the basic input output system, anything that has to do with what goes in and what comes out of the system. Now the RAM, the random access memory, and the slot for expansion. When you try to loosen the, the system units, you will see the motherboards. It's like this, it's there, it's attached to the system unit. And on that motherboard, you begin to see some slots. You see the run, they are like this, then this form, then this form. You see IC, you see a lot of things. You see the microprocessor, they are all attached to the world motherboard, which is the circuitry board of a computer world system. And I also told you that the disk drive is also located there. What are the disk drive? The disk drive are the drives that allow you to insert your disks on the computer through the world, through the system unit. These are the disk drive. Let me just give you a sketch of the system unit. The system unit is like this. So in front of the system unit, you see something like this. You also see something like this. This is called a drive. This is called a drive. It is called a drive. This is the button that controls it. This is the button that controls So what do you do? When well, you want to insert maybe your CD, your CD plate or your DVD, what do you do? You now press this button. The, 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 the disk drive will do what? Come out. Just like the way you insert your CD on your what? A, a CD machine or DVD machine. So as soon as it comes out, you insert your plates and automatically start doing what? Playing. You'll be able to view your work. So that is that. So these and these are the drives. They are the disk drive. You can also insert this one here with the diskette here. And there is also a provision where you can insert this, something like this. They flash this. You see something like this on the system units. They flash this. What do you do? You open it, you remove the cover, and you now do what? Insert it. And you assess whatsoever information that is on this what storage devices. So now I told you that CD runs means compare this read only what memory. So you read and write from this from the ROM. So I also told you that the primary storage consists of two types of memory chips, which are the random access memory RAM and the read only memory ROM. So in our next class, we'll be looking at the RAM and the ROM. So I have assignment for you, your homework. Number one is define computer storage device, as I taught you. Number two is explain two types of storage devices we have. It's also there. Then number three is what is motherboard. You do what? You tell me what the motherboard is. So students, we've come to the end of today's lesson. Make sure you do your homework. I still remain your teacher, Precious Obebo. See you next time and God bless you.